Der feine Chinamann. Deutsche Musterreihe. Fine Chinamann hier. Und today I have a box opening. Actually, this video serves two purposes. One is for a first video in German China. I'm going to start doing several of these um, throughout this summer. It may not be back to back, but we're going to talk about some different German patterns. And um, the first pattern that I want to talk about is uh, made by Schumann. It's called Dresden, but there's several varieties. This is Dresden Empress. There's also a Dresden Cham uh, Chateau, and then there's Dresden um, the Dresdener Art, or what we call Old Dresden Flowers. And Old Dresden Flowers is what's in this box here. And so um, I bought these just kind of on a whim. What's inside this box are 12 charger plates to go under your dinner plate. And they are um, from 1928 to 1933. And the reason I know that is uh, I found a reference on the different back stamps. And I was able to analyze the back stamp from the picture of the auction I bought these. Now, I got a really good deal on these. Um, I paid about the normal price for two of them for all 12, including shipping. So I got a really good deal. Let's see what kind of condition they're in. Lots of shredding material in this box. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, here's one right now. Now, each plate, well, there's many different patterns, I should say, or designs on the plates. So, I know there's at least three designs in here. We'll see if there's more. I believe four exist for this. Um, Here's the first one, and this is one of the, uh, the patterns I did see in the description. A little bit of wear. I'm not feeling any uh, chips around the edge. There's no crazing on this plate. Uh, this plate is in great shape. It has the back stamp that says uh, Bavaria Schumann Dresden Art, uh, Dresdener Art, excuse me. I will show these up close to you when I get them done. So let's see how many. I only know three designs in here. Let's see how many of each we get. So there's one. These are not taped up really well, so they're not very hard to get undone. Okay, here's a different design. Let's run a finger around this one too. There's a tiny flea bite on this one. A very pretty. Uh, pattern. Again, it's too bad there's a tiny flea bite, but we'll see what else we get in here. Still very pretty. Here's another one. This is the same pattern we saw a minute ago, the first plate. Feels good. Looks good. So we'll put it in that stack. So we've got two of that one. So we can use these. Stack them. Let's see about the next one. This is a different one than what we've seen so far. Let's check it around the edge. Yeah, there's some gold wear on these, but they're for 1928, they're in spectacular condition. Again, the, the newest these are is 1933. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, this is the second one of the one that had the, the flea bite. So another one like that. It feels fine. So put it on top of that one. So 
so far three different patterns. I'm hoping for four, but it may only be three. Okay, this is that uh, same one again. So, so far we have three of this plate. I would say this is one of the most common ones. Um, I found through my research that certain pictures or certain flower images are less common than others. All right, so it turned out very interesting. I got six of this style plate, four of this style plate, and two of this style plate. This is the old Dresden or Dresdner art, which is just, was just a way to market it to the U.S. Um, it's a smooth rim, whereas the Empress has a scalloped edge. I also find the colors much better on the old uh, Dresdner. Um, however, it may just be that this particular plate that I had, the only one I have, is just extra worn or a light print to begin with. Let me show you back stamp real fast. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on Dresdner and or on Dresden flowers as I get more and more pieces. So if you like this video, please click the like button. See you next time.